So in this question we're given two functions, f and g, and we're asked to combine them to produce a third function, h. So how do we find this function h? Well, we carry out the function f on the function g. Now what does that exactly mean? Let's look at function f. What it does to numbers, a number goes in, it squares that number, multiplies it by 2, takes away 4 times that number, then adds 5. So for instance, if we're putting 2 in, it'll be twice 2 squared minus 4 times 2. We're replacing that x by 2. If we put in a, for instance, it'll be twice a squared minus 4 times a plus 5. Whatever we put into f, we have to square it, double the result, take away 4 times whatever we put in, and add 5. So for instance, in this case, if we're putting g of x into f, now we know g of x is 3 minus x, we're told that. So we're putting 3 minus x into f, therefore we have to square it and double the result. We have to take away 4 times the 3 minus x and then add 5. So let's write that down. It's twice 3 minus x squared minus 4 times 3 minus x plus 5. And remember, that's just coming from the original formula by replacing x by 3 minus x. So we've got a bit of working out to do. 3 minus x times 3 minus x. Firsts give us 9. So remember we have to double all that in a minute. Outside 2 minus 3x, inside 2 minus 3x, so that's minus 6x. And then the lasts, negative x times negative x gives us positive x squared. So we have to double all that. And we've got a minus 12 and a plus 4x when we get rid of these brackets. So we have 18 minus 12x plus 2x squared. That's after doubling each of these terms. And minus 12 plus 5 would be minus 7 and then plus 4x. So finally, let's look at the x squared terms. There's only one of them, and there's coefficient of 2, so 2 lots of x squared. We've got a minus 12x plus a 4x, which is a minus 8x. And we've got an 18 minus a 7, which is 11. And then we just check that's indeed what we were supposed to get. Now, part b asks us to express this in a particular form. And this is known as completing the square. So we have two terms that are identical. That's the crucial bit in completing the square. You need to produce two linear terms, x plus or minus a number, where both of these terms are identical. That's because we have a square. So once we've got that square in there, we have to complete it all by balancing everything out. So the 2, first of all, can come out. Side brackets. Let's just leave the 11 at the end, because that's a, a number that we're allowed to alter at the end. But this is the crucial bit. This x squared minus 4x, we have to get into a form of two terms multiplied where these two terms are identical. So we certainly were okay with the x. The first times the first two terms, x times x gives us x squared. Now this minus 4x will come about from this outside pair and this inside pair. And if they're both to be identical, then each part of this will contribute half of the minus 4x. 
So it'll have to be minus 2, minus 2. So let's just check that. We have, when we multiply this out, x times x, which is x squared, we've got that term. The outside 2 give us minus 2x. The inside 2 give us minus 2x, so that gives us the minus 4x. But unfortunately, there's a plus 4 that wasn't there before. Let's get rid of it. Now it's not there. So inside the square brackets, we've now got precisely x squared minus 4x. Because the offending term, the plus 4 that appears when we multiply these two identical brackets, we've got rid of it using this minus 4 here. OK, let's tidy things up. We've got two lots of x minus 2 times x minus 2. That's x minus 2 squared. And we've also got two lots of this minus 4. That'll give us a minus 8. And now we've got the plus 11. So finally, we have two lots of x minus 2, all squared. Minus 8 plus 11 is 3. And just check, it's worth checking that we have got this in the form that we were required to get it into. Now you might wonder about this plus q, but if we set q being negative 2, x plus negative 2 is the same as this x minus 2. So p is 2, q is negative 2, r is 3, and we've done it. We're not asked for the values of p, q, and r. We're just asked to write the expression in this form, which we've successfully done.